Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Hylix with me, Atantuo. So we are still uh, in this graveyard area, or below it actually, now that we finally opened uh, these uh, huge doors here. And um, yeah, let's see what awaits us here, how much longer it's going to be. This is interesting here, since you can actually just walk along with these guys, although I assume that there are also enemies that you can fight. So, yep, sure are. Uh, and a new type at that, Manoops. Okay, hey Manoops. Fathead might actually also be new. Does not uh, immediately seem familiar. Um, let's use our usual tactics. Um, hmm. Spiral Polycerate, uh, actually, I forgot what they do, uh, but then they, when in doubt, they probably blind you, since that's what most enemies tend to do. Okay, so Snosa is paralyzed. Um, sleep, 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 that's good. Okay, and uh, yeah, since they are from relatively early on in the game, they die very quickly, so that's something. These guys uh, are a bit more tanky, as is to be expected. Okay, but not so much more. That's, that was three hits, I think? Yeah. Uh, let's see what these guys do, if anything. Okay, so those are the ones that paralyze, that's good to know. Also, I did not realize how much damage some Snosa has been, had been taking. Okay, ah, uh, I see. That's a bit unfortunate that he chose to attack her three times. Meat found, dynamite found, okay. Uh, not really had much of a use for dynamite. I mean, I guess I could use it in, in battle, since uh, it probably needs a lot of damage. Uh, well, I don't know how much damage it really does. I might actually try that just so I know and next in the next boss fight that's that might be coming up. Uh, wait, what revives? Yeah, that's actually the one I was looking for. Um, I guess I'll just keep fighting these. I mean, since enemies do not respawn, there's really no reason not to kill all of them to get the maximum benefit. Not that I really think that I need to in order to be able to beat the game, but you know. Uh, what are you going to do? Anything worthwhile here? I mean, I guess I could do this. Um, but then, no. You're going to attack, and she's going to, to um, do the Mystic Meat to prevent, hopefully prevent, uh, further paralysis troubles. Okay, good thing that happened first, so... Well, she did take the damage, she is not paralyzed. Not that it makes uh, too much of a difference, but, you know... It's going to end the battle just a little bit quicker. Okay, so he's going to take three hits. That's not enough to kill him, but... Okay, so his attack failed, that's good. Always nice. That went better. Oh, this is different. I mean, uh, we already know these. Uh, the footheads are actually also from one of the earliest areas. So that guy should die pretty quick as well. Um, hypnotize. Dedasmol is really not really using his... Um, not really using his uh, will points very much since his attack is so well. It's not really all that much higher than the other guys, but still, I like to have him just attack normally. Okay, we're protected. Um, they all sleep. Always nice. And let's get rid of that guy. 
Should be very close to death right now. Okay. I mean, not very close, but close enough to kill in this round. Um, oh. Right. I was waiting for enemies to do something, but no. They're all asleep. All, both of them. Okay, that takes care of that guy. And he could possibly blind us, but we are still... Oh, no, wait. We're not at protected anymore, but yeah. Okay. Good, good. And... One more. Okay, same group composition. Um, let's do the same thing again. Why don't we? Seemed to work pretty well last time. It's nice that we get to uh, get our attacks off before they even get a chance to do something like this. Also, he seems to really like to target some Snowza. I wonder if that's just a coincidence or if it's some kind of AI thing targeting the weakest character or something. Might be. Okay. So now I, I could go back and take a nap. Oh, also, this <laughs> looks like. Um, well, almost looks like uh, Wayne's skeleton, maybe? Or one of his kind. I guess. I mean, except for this weird protrusion here. Hmm, more of these guys, huh? I mean, I guess I, uh, Wayne has will points for another round of sleep, so let's use those. Um, yeah, so I, I could go back and uh, take a nap and just refill, but I guess for now I'm going to make some use of our resources. Since that's exactly what we have them for. Okay. Fail to put that guy to sleep again. Uh, that should be fine. Okay. So we still take the damage, we just don't get stunned. That's fine. He actually did not target some snow so it might just have been a coincidence before. Oh, counterattack. That's not good. Don't like that. Oh, what's this? Demon skull. Ooh. Is that an accessory possibly? Probably a um, piece of equipment, though. Uh, no. Well, maybe, unless... Let's see here. Uh, oh, it is. Okay. Hel oh, a helmet. Wrought from the skull of a powerful demon. Yeah, that's right. Actually, that is what some snow is wearing, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. So, I don't actually see a an increase in terms of stats or anything. What does this do? Uh, oh, well, that's not all that great. Do helmets increase armor? I forget. Or uh, not armor, but uh, effectively HP. So he is at 322. That's actually quite a bit. Um... 22. Yeah, now he's at 342. Okay, I guess I can really live without those 10% chance of blinding an enemy. Um, you know, you know uh, like effects that trigger upon getting hit really aren't my favorite, generally speaking, since typically you don't want to rely on enemies hurting you for something potentially good happens, and a 10% chance to blind them really doesn't feel extremely worthwhile, so I'd much rather take um, much rather take 
20 more HP. And we have uh, quite, a, quite a few more enemies here. Uh, Fathead. And a Despair Puff. Okay, Despair Puffs did something nasty, I think. Uh, probably blind me. Probably. Um, let's not risk it. Let's attack that guy and... Oh, I don't know. He should die in one hit. Okay. Yep. Sure enough. Let's see how tanky they are. Okay, not very. Uh, that's good to know. Box and burrito. Okay. No meat. That's what I'd, I'd actually like to see, since uh, some snows I could really use some more HP. Since she joined us this late in into the game, she really missed out on most of those uh, meat grinding sessions. Which is a bit of a shame. Um, you... Oh, uh, I don't know. You just... Get rid of that guy, I guess. She keeps doing this, just to be sure. Safe, I guess. Good thing we did. Yeah, it seems like that guy is always going to at least try and stun us, so we really don't want that. But, uh, Manoops, that is. Manoops. But he's also the one asleep now, so that's good. And some Snosa should survive even... Oh wait, no. It's going to deal exactly 45 damage, right? So let's just kill him now. Or not. Ah, dang it. I don't know, sometimes these enemies seem um, smarter than other times. Really not sure. And it's most likely just a coincidence, but... Who knows? I mean, I have plenty of all kinds of items, really. Uh, let's actually oops, uh, use another juice box on Wayne, so he can keep hypnotizing people. I know it's a bit boring maybe to keep relying on the same tactics over and over, but I mean they work, so... I'm gonna stick to what works. Still better than just trying to brute force, right? That's what I typically tend to do in RPGs. Unless uh, enemy uh, enemies force me to employ more sophisticated tactics. I mean, these don't technically f not don't actually force me to, but they encourage me to. I mean, enemies, especially with their status attacks that they like to use, their status effects. Um, are somewhat more more threatening and more annoying than than enemies often are in in RPGs. Like, um, do I want to? I don't know. Maybe this is going to kill it outright. Just trying to get some variation here um, in here. Counter-attack, awesome. Oh, he's not asleep, but let's get rid of this guy first, since uh, Manoops is not going to be able to actually stun us for now. So we should be fine. Or maybe not. Please kill him. Oh wow, he did not actually attack some snows, huh? I fully expected that. Okay, some more meat, that's nice, and a juice box, also good. Okay, more... corpses. Oh, and um, one of these things. Okay, I need to remember that. Should I find another Piper Cup? Which I might. Is this an enemy, though? I don't know. I guess... 
to be on the safe side, I'm going to do this. The others should be fine for now. Okay, he's not. He, I didn't think so necessarily, but you never know. Blue, blue was the heaven above me, and the earth green at my feet. Oh life, oh life, I kept saying, and the very word seemed sweet. That's a nice poem, actually. One of the few that don't seem to be randomizing. I like that a lot, and also I like the fact that he just randomly turned into this blob. Hey blob. Oh. What falsifies another chemical beside concavity? Refulgent monochrome dirt. Okay, and there we go again with the randomized poems, for lack of a better term. Okay, we can't go further down from here, so let's continue on this arm. Um, harvest a vegetable along the way and some more, because why not? We did use some, so... Oh, that looks kind of uh, bossy. Oh, duck, duck blade, huh? Is that a blade that makes enemies duck, or requires you to duck, or is it a... like a duck duck? Small chance of lowering target's mightiness. Huh. That doesn't really answer my question. It also deals less damage than the bestial axe, however... Um, however... That a small is only... Uh, wielding a fork and dirk. So, yeah, it's definitely a lot better than the dirk. So, there we go. Now he is actually a lot more mighty than uh, the other two. And he has a chance to lower the enemy's attack. That's always good. Okay, who are you? Tomb Shrub. Uh, yeah, may I mean the color is correct for a shrub. A shrubbery. Um, other than that, I would not have made that connection necessarily. Anyway, what are, what do we do? Um, I wonder. Is it worth? Is it worth? I guess you might. You could try to uh, poison him. You're actually just going to. Uh, oh, he doesn't have enough for two attacks, so... I'll use Space Shurikens, though, since Detonation doesn't seem to deal that much more damage that it seems worth it. And you use... Oh, wait. Ah, never mind. I thought she could uh, buff him, like calibrate him. So he's going to calibrate Dandosmon. Dandosmon uses sh sh Space Shurikens. <laughs> And you use bubbles. Okay, that works too. Yeah, I, I thought that uh, some snow sun might go first, or before dead as well, so... But... She didn't. So there's that. Oh, it might end us down. That sucks. Uh, we should have really... Let's see here. Um, you calibrate yourself, you attack, and you use the Mystic Meat, hopefully getting rid of our lowered mightiness. I don't know if that's... yeah, okay. No, wait. No, it does not count... oh, wow. That was a lot of damage. That does not count as a um, normal status effect, apparently. Status ailment. All right, uh, subshrub. Hmm. You are going to wait. No, that's not correct. Things. You are going to use a warm burrito on some snowsa, even though she's quite likely to die again. And you are actually using. I don't know. Should he be attacking? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe get rid of the sub -shrub. And uh, there's another one. Okay, these things seem to die relatively easily. Bio-wave, okay. 
So, some snows is alive for now. Let's see here. <clears throat> oh, I keep going on special when I actually want items. So, vegetable on her. Hopefully keeping her alive. You attack the sub shrub, I guess. I really don't like spending all my uh, time attacking... Or, you know what? You actually attack the boss, and I'm going to use a dynamite. Uh, assuming that she does survive to long enough to use it. And that might hopefully take care of the little guy. Or the little guys. Okay, so the heal got off. Oh, wow. Okay, it's not as powerful as I was hoping. Ooh, this guy. He hits hard. But luckily, these guys are stunned. That's a little help. I didn't really um, catch what they what they actually do, but I'm assuming it's nothing good. Uh, still don't have a AOE attack, unfortunately. Besides the dynamite. Um, so what are you doing? I guess you use space shurikens. And you keep attacking, and you use a vegetable on that as well, because I do not want him to die. Okay, bio wave. Oh, also, yeah, that is Mon's, um attack up is gone now. What will we do? Uh, special now. Calibrate takes 20, that's unfortunate. Missed meat does not seem to help us here since they don't actually use uh, status ailments. They only lower our attack. Okay, what do we do here? I want Dadasmon's attack to be increased again. So he needs to do that himself, actually. And I want to heal some snows and I want to. Uh, Throw some dynamite to hopefully take care of these. Yeah, that should actually get rid of the two uh, sub shrubs on the right, since they already took 75 damage. So um, you are going to. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter. So you use the dynamite now. You calibrate yourself, and uh, you heal yourself. So his attack is back up. Oh, boss is dead. That's really good. Okay. I did not expect him to die. But that's all the better. I mean, I guess I did use two of those extremely pricey dynamites that don't seem to be super useful otherwise, but you know, they just keep spawning, huh? Oh wow, okay. It all turned out alright in the end. 5,000 bucks, vegetables, okay. Wow, lots of vegetables. <laughs> all the vegetables, Jesus. Maybe one for every sub I kill? Almost seems like a possibility. Um, oh, and we're out of will points. I forgot about that. Um, we should be fine. Uh, let's actually get rid of this guy, since I think those can blind. Uh, except we are going to use Mystic Meat, so we're not going to get blinded or stunned. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, except this guy likes to counterattack. Uh. Okay. What? He counterattacks again. That sucks. Why, why can't you just do that? He's not allowed to do that. What, what do I do about that? I cannot put him to sleep. Um, you attack him, the other guys attack that dude? Okay. This time he didn't counterattack. I don't know if there's a way to, uh, to tell if whether he's going to or not. 
Which that sucks a little bit. Okay, he's dead. Good riddance. Okay, he's paralyzed. That sucks a little bit, but we should be fine. Yes, okay. I know it's getting awfully close here, but um, I feel that I defeated the boss and I'm basically done with this area. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, let's not be stupid. Let's just save, since we can save at any point. Oh, okay. Oh, we end up here. Okay. Interesting. And it... this area keeps going. Jeez. You know what? At this point, actually... I wonder if I'm... if I should actually go all the way back and explore that big island that I thought was the one I was meant to go. I was really expecting this whole side path here, this whole thing that turned out to be this huge uh, graveyard leading into this area. Um, I was expecting this to, to be just some small side area, but I guess I was quite wrong. Since it does seem to be going on even even further. Now I don't know if it, if I should actually check out that what I thought was the main the main island first. Although that might actually turn out to be the main path after all. I really don't know. Oh, vegetable regrows? No, wait. I always keep thinking this is a vegetable, but it isn't. Just a potted plant. Uh, yeah, remember Corrosion for sure. Okay. Now we're healed. Ah, oh, man, I really don't know. I mean, uh, I guess I'm, I'm going to keep going this way now that I started on this path. And should I actually get the feeling that this is heading towards end gamey territory, I will um, pause the recording and uh, go back to to uh, the bigger island and check that out first. But we'll see. Maybe this does turn out to be just the path to like the, the last missing sage's token and, and possibly another paper cup or two since unless I'm really mistaken there should be uh, there should be two uh, of those water things that I that I've yet to activate including the one I just found okay uh, what is this guy sliding around on his butt oh wait is he not an enemy oh no he is not our homunculus, homunculus, shun our homunculus, uh, manifest our zesty homunculus, but my furniture totally is like a mountain creature. Um, yeah. I have died a lot here. I call this place the Hall of Deadly Statues. I'm strengthening my leg muscles so I can run past them. Ooh, okay, is that a deadly statue down there? Also, I totally did not see this crystal until just now. Okay, it's red crystal leads here. Uh, now I'm kind of afraid. Okay. Oh, ho ho, hello there. Oh, okay. It is actually just an instant death. That gives me a chance to... Oh, actually, you know what? There's only one more crystal missing and does seem to be the last one mm, it's not super uh, clear which order they're supposed to represent but I think the red no actually the red one is the one I just activated so never mind I think the yellow one was the first of, of this group of crystals that I activated then the light blue one so I guess there really is no way to tell the actual order you're supposed to find them in. Not there, that there necessarily is such an order in the first place. 43 meat, wow! I was not aware that we had that many. That is relatively huge. I feel a bit better about Sumsnosa's health now, although she's still lagging behind the other guys quite a bit. But with almost 200 health, she should be relatively fine. 
Okay, oh right, and before I forget again, there was this television set down here. I don't know what it taught us. Hopefully it's Calibrate, since I'd like her to have that, actually. Uh, let's see. Hey there, little creatures. I like these guys. I want one. Okay, so what do you teach me? C calibration, that's really nice. Okay. Um, that is pretty useful. Okay. So the question is do I keep exploring? Now that I have a way to just teleport back, I might actually. I might actually... Yeah, let me check out that main island first. I can now at any time go back to the red crystal and keep going uh, from there. And this is actually uh, meant to teleport to Wayne's house, but this is going to work. Assuming... Uh, we'll see. We shall see. Okay, our boat is not actually here. Um... Huh. Yeah, the boat does not teleport with you. I was kind of afraid that might be the case. So we actually have to... Huh. Um, let me see here. Oh wait, we can't just go back. I mean, we, we totally can. We just need to die. That's an interesting mechanic that you can only go back to the hub by dying, but fortunately there are always going to be some instant death enemies. Or, well, not really enemies, but just basically traps that kill you instantly. Um, so... I forget which one... I forget whether one of these things is actually going to transport me someplace useful, so I'm just going to take the red one. It's not going to take extremely long to backtrack. Yeah, yeah, our ship is there, okay. There might be a crystal back at the graveyard, at the main area, but I forget. Oh, and also it gives me the chance to collect some more of these. Uh, not that I absolutely need to have more, but they won't hurt either. Okay. Yeah, now that all the enemies are gone, it's not... it's probably gonna take just a minute to get back. If that. It always feels a bit longer, but... we are actually... oh yeah, there is a crystal, isn't there? Yep, sure is. I mean, I was about to try, but if it hadn't been the case, I would have to would have had to kill myself again to get back to the hub. So I was not going to risk that. I'll try to remember, hopefully for the future. Also, I wonder, maybe the uh, the path ultimately leads to this little island here. Seems like a possibility, but we'll see. There seem to be three different uh, locations I can visit. This Stonehenge circle here. This what might be a small city, perhaps? Actually, I don't know what any of these are, so let's just find out. Or maybe this is nothing. Okay, never mind. So there's only two places, unless there's anything hidden here, but I don't know about that. Okay, what is this? More little critters. Oh, these actually talk. Interesting. Some snows have converted the bug into mightiness. Oh, did she now? And these just... just pop. Or... yeah, okay. And another one of these. Okay, so I need three more paper cups now. Huh. The Robolin uh, Bobolinks, I'm sorry, at noonday sing more softly than the softest flute. And lightlier than the lightest flute, a lute, their fairy tambour, tambours ring. Tambours? Is that. A, don't know how to say that. 
Okay, if you say so. And who are you, dancing... person? Psst, hey, squirrel food! I've got your squirrel food! 2,000 bucks for some squirrel food! Okay, uh, once in a lifetime, you say. Actually, I did get a very similar deal not too long ago. Um, are you going to... No, I don't think he's going to sell more, unless I have a way to waste my squirrel food. So now I have roach food and squirrel food. Probably nuts and things, yeah, probably. I don't, still not sure why I have two units of roach food. Maybe I had one before from somewhere, or maybe I just bought two at once from that other person, I'm not sure. Okay, and this place is... What is this, actually? Oh, some kind of puzzle, maybe? Can activate these, apparently? Maybe I just need to activate all of them? That does seem a bit trivial, if that's the case. Okay, and it is not. So there's probably some kind of combination to this. But I don't think I've found... Oops. I don't think I've found any kind of hint as to this. If I did, I completely missed it. Oh, wait. What are, are these things on the sides? Do they have to do anything with anything? Hmm... I don't think they necessarily do. Unless they represent four out of these symbols in the middle that I need to activate. But neither of them correspond directly to any of these here. I mean, the one in the lower left here might be the this little wiggle, wiggly worm. This one, though, with the uh, kind of news shape thing on the top. The only thing that seems to correspond to that roughly is this, since it has a similar shape. Now it's getting difficult, though. This up here might be... Reminds me of this, most. If I had to make some sort of guess. And this here does not actually strike me as particularly similar to any of these. Mm, maybe this, maybe this. Oh, okay. So it might be a complete coincidence, or I might actually have figured it out. I'm not sure, but I'm going to take it. And this is not the last sage, I guess. Even though I was kind of expecting that. These things are still going to pop, huh? Sorry about killing your pets, buddy. I am called Pongorma. Oh! Pongorma! I've, this is the guy I had been uh, hearing about. Greatest of the Dread Knights of Vithorn. Through long ages I have waited in this vault. Dot dot dot. Fight me. Uh, not now. So it goes. Is this to be going to... Oh yeah. It is going to... To do something Dark Flame. That sounds potentially awesome. Powers. Uh, dark Flame there it is. 60, huh? Damages all enemies. Oh, finally. An AoE attack. Slightly stronger than normal attack. Okay. Only slightly stronger and quite expensive, but having an AoE is super useful. Also, what is this in the bathtub? Ugh. Okay. I still don't know. Chunks of meat, maybe? Um, I mean, I guess we will fight this guy. I mean, of course we are, since we are here. However, we are going to do so next episode, since um, we've reached the end of this one. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, see you next time. Until then, oh, until then, have a wonderful time, and bye-bye. Uh,